Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, I know that I've been absent for a long time, and whatnot. I think I covered this in my last video. But um, anyway, this is a video for Generation W. It's also going to go on my personal channel. And uh, you know, I thought that even though I, w I really wanted to help do the intros and stuff like that, but um, I guess I should make an intro. I'll make one after this and upload it before this. <laughs> anyway, I thought that I would help to uh, kickstart us by, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, doing it, you know, taking kind of a, a cheap shot, kind of, sort of, a tiny way, by reviewing some books that are rather popular right now. And uh, those are Twilight novels. And I'm going to make one video for each. But, um, I... It's been a long time since I've read since I read Twilight. Like I've read it, I've read it about five times. But like, yeah, I mean, I, I remember everything that I read. But still, it might, I might um and uh a little bit <laughs> during this video because it's been so long. Or I might just read a page and replace words. <laughs> I do that to entertain myself. I'm such a dork. But anyway, Twilight um by the vampire. Duh. I don't need to tell you this, everybody knows. It's about sparkly, pretty sparkly, creepy stalker vampire boys. And a really plain Jane girl without much personality and a lot of sarcasm, which I guess sarcasm counts as personality, but still. And, uh, you know, and she's clumsy to, to the point where she's a danger to herself and everyone around her. Much like me. But you see, she probably doesn't have feet as, as large as mine. See that? That's a size 13. My favorite shoes, these are my favorite shoes. They look like clown shoes, which is probably why they're my favorite. But yes, um, cover rocks. Those are my hands, as you can see it. <laughs> and uh, what else? I don't know. I love the chapter titles. Everybody knows the storyline. I don't know what. What can I say about it? It's, it's great. Like, the first time that I read it, I actually... I'm not going to claim that I found it first or anything, because that's really lame. But I read this in the 7th grade when it came out. So that's why my copy is so beaten and battered, because I've lent it to everybody. And, and you know, my entire family, all my friends. So, you know. But, anyway, let me check my time. Let me just make sure that I'm not taking up too much time. Okay. But, uh, anyway, because I don't want to do editing, I suck at editing, I suck at anything computer-wise. Um, one thing that I really love about this book that I think get, that gets overlooked is the fact that just the setup is really, really beautiful. I mean, okay, look at the back. I know that some people may not be able to appreciate the back, but I love this red, and I love this black. That's perfect for me. Like, my future book, like, my, my future book, science fiction books, especially Escapade, like, I love that line, that clean, sharp lines, it's just like, it's very calming to me, when, when it comes to books like this, you know, it, other books, like, they need curvy stuff, and they need pretty swoopy things, but, like, this, this, this is fantastic, you know, this, and also, I would love to get published by Little Brown, because they take such good care when it comes to making the books look nice inside and out. Okay, I love the title page. Is that not gorgeous? Seriously, is it not? Okay, I'm gonna read a page. Let's see. Please, uh, th I mean, no, um, no offense to anybody, but this is just to be funny. I mean, I'm, ju I'm just going to read this like I would read it out loud. Edward! I hissed. I heard a ghostly ch chuckle, then nothing else. Your mother. My father's key turned in the door. Your mother. Bella? Your mother. He called. It had bothered me before. Who else would it be? <laughs> Suddenly, he didn't seem so far off base. And here, your mother. I hoped you couldn't hear the hysterical edge to my voice. I grabbed my dinner from the microwave and sat at the table as he walked in, your mother. <laughs> His footsteps sounded so noisy after my day. After my day with Edward. Sparkle. 
Can you give me some of that? I'm bushed. Plop. He stepped on the heels of his he stepped on the heels of his bo boots to take them off, holding the back of Edward's chair for, for support. I took my food with me, scarfing it down as I got his dinner, your mother. <laughs> it burned my tongue, your mother. Because you know who burns my tongue. <laughs> I filled two glasses with milk. No. While his lasagna was heating. Your mother's lasagna. And gulped mine to put out the fire. Your mother. <laughs> this is getting stupid. <laughs> As I set the glass down, I noticed the milk tremble trembling and realized that my hand was shaking. Wow. Charlie sat in the chair, and the contrast between him and his former occupant was comical. <laughs> Thanks, he said as I placed the food on the table. How was your day? I asked. The words were rest, rushed. I was dying to escape to, to my room. Good, the fish were biting. How about you? Did you get everything that, done that you wanted to do? Mmm, speaking of biting. <laughs> Not really. It was too nice to stay outdoors. It was too nice to stay indoors. <laughs> I took another big bite. Big bite. Big bite. It was a nice day, he agreed. What an understatement, I thought to myself. Ah, <sighs> Edward. Finished with the last bot with the last bite of lasagna, I lifted my glass and chugged the remains of my liquor milk. No offense to the author or any fans of the series, I just wanted to try that. That was very spontaneous. But yeah, um, I love the way it smells. It smells like I don't know. It's, it smells like warm, fuzzy feelings. <laughs> but um, I like Twilight. It's it's like eating a whole box of chocolate and then feeling really really good about it. I'll make new moon next.